It's American Gun Chicken. It's Gun Day Monday. This video is brought to you by FUBAR, the world's number one online virtual bar. More on that later. Hey guys, so today I have a variety of my guns right here. So today I wanted to talk about my top zombie apocalypse slash boogaloo go-to guns. So I have them all laid out right here and I'm going to go through each of them and tell you what they are and the benefits of them, why I like them, why I have them, and why I put them on the list. And then at the end, I'll choose the number one out of all of them. So first off, let's just get right into it. Let's start with my Mossberg 500 right here. So this is my shotgun. You guys have seen this in some of my videos, a lot of my shotgun videos and stuff. This is one of my go-to shotguns. Um, I like this one a lot because number one, it's a shotgun. And when it comes to home defense, you can't beat a shotgun. Shotguns to me are one of my favorites uh, because I love, you know, the power behind it. I love uh, buckshot and slugs mostly. This one has an O light on it right here so if it's nighttime or it's dark out I got a light right there so that's perfect um this one actually has a lot of different stuff this one has some fab defense furniture on it right here with the grip fab defense furniture right here all right so right here it has a fab defense folding stock so you just press this button right here and you can fold it in half so it makes it easier to throw it somewhere if you need to put it somewhere in more compact so you just open it up right there it has a breacher barrel right here i like that that's pretty cool um i've seen a lot of people use those for different things you know busting down doors just jamming it in someone's face all kinds of cool stuff so that's pretty cool of course i gotta put my favorite shotgun on the list because i am a fan of shotguns when it comes to home defense and i think that they're wonderful they do great for home intruders and yeah so that's definitely on the list that's the only shotgun on the list though Number two, I have my Dra Jacob Gray rifle right here. I like this rifle a lot. I was gifted this rifle um, probably about a year ago or a year and a half ago. And I've shot it here and there. And I want to take some classes with it because I do like it. But I'm not as familiar with it like I am my stag rifle. Um, it has an EOTech optic right here, which I love. EOTech is awesome. It has an Olight light right here. I like that. I like the handguard because it's really long. It's easy for me to wrap my fingers around it. So it's easy for me to grip. Um, it is a little bit heavy, but that might be because I added the flashlight and the EOTech. And so that really adds some pounds to it. Um, but overall, this has been a really good rifle for me. That's why that one is on the list too, because that would be one of my go-to ones that I would grab because it's not too heavy. It doesn't have too much junk on it, but it has a light which is important sometimes, and it has the EOTIC. The next option is my stag rifle. I had to put this one in the uh, in the collection because I've trained with this rifle a lot. Out of all the rifles I've trained with, this is the one that I've trained the most with out of my collection because this is one of my first rifles that I was gifted. I owned, I don't know, some other rifle that I got from a gun shop that wasn't that good that I never really trained with, and then this one was like the official like American Gun Trick rifle the one that I've trained with the most. I'm familiar with this one. I'm comfortable with this one because I've ran with it a lot. I've taken a lot of classes at Tactical Response with it. So on this one, it has an EOTech optic right there, which I love. I love EOTech. That's why they're on all my rifles. I have a through night light right here. I like that because the light isn't very heavy. Like it's a lightweight light. I also like this rifle because it is lightweight. It's not very heavy, so it's not gonna make my arms tired. Um, I can really just, you know, be out there using it in a class or have it in the boogaloo or the zombie apocalypse and not get too fatigued and too tired. So I have an EOTech on here. And the reason I really like EOTechs, as you've noticed, I got an EOTech on here, an EOTech on here, is because I, so I shoot rifles on my left side because I'm left eye dominant. And I noticed that with any other red dot, when I'm on my right side, when I try to transition, I try to look into the scope and I can't see the red dot out of my right eye. Like, I cannot see it. Like, I physically cannot see it. So, that was an issue because I can't just be, always be shooting on my left side. What if I'm coming out on my right side out of 
some cover. I don't want to be leading with my arm. I want to be leading with my rifle. You know what I mean? So when I switched to an EOTech, I noticed that I can switch to both sides and I can see out of that eye as I'm peeking around that corner. So that's huge for me because that is a vital mistake you can make with not leading with your rifle. I learned that in a lot of my classes, especially Sawman's class, the difference with leading with your rifle and leading with your body. So that's why I chose EOTech. That's why I like the EOTech on here. Can't go wrong with the EOTech. So yeah, the stag rifle. I put that one in there because I'm comfortable with it. I'm used to it. My next option right here is my ATAC Defense 300 Blackout Pistol. This is awesome. I, I don't have a, a red dot or on it yet or anything or an EOTech, which I'll probably go with an EOTech. I don't have that on here yet uh, because I just got this a couple weeks ago and I still got to get the ammo for it. And I got to get the optic. Um, but I'm really excited to do more videos with this one and have some fun with it, do some hog slaying with it. But I put this one in the list also because it is a 300 blackout. Um, so I do like that caliber. I do like how compact and small it is. So the barrel, I believe, is only 10 or 12 inches. And that's a really short, really tight barrel. Look how small it is with the stock all the way in. Of course, you can take the stock out all the way or you can keep it in. But this would be great for, you know, if you're in a situation and you got to go through, you know, some, a house and you got to clear clear the house, go through some rooms. It's so short and compact, you can get around those corners and you're not going to have to worry as much about people grabbing that barrel or, you know, swinging that barrel all around. You can keep it really tucked in, really tight. So I like how short it is. In fact, I would keep it like that, actually. So that's a great option in the Boogaloo or the Zombie Apocalypse. You gotta go through some rooms, you gotta go save your baby or save your friends in the other room. You gotta clear those rooms fast and efficiently. And with a really short barrel like that, it's a lot more useful. So, yeah, that's why I have this one on the list also. These are all great guns. Honestly, I would grab any one of them during the zombie apocalypse and, you know, get to it. Grab one of them, have my pistol on me, and be ready to go. Um, but out of all four of these... I have to choose a number one that out of all of them is the number one top choice. Hey guys, so this video is brought to you by FUBAR. Thank you so much to FUBAR for always supporting me and sponsoring these videos. Go check out FUBAR. It's the world's number one online bar where you can play slot machines, meet people, uh, play different games, buy virtual drinks for yourself and for other people, and just socialize and make friends and have a good time. I'll be on there and I'll be waiting for you guys to join me and to chat with me and I'll buy you your first drink. So go to Food Bar, click the link down below and join now. All right, guys. So out of all of these guns, the one, the top one that I would choose for the zombie apocalypse is drum roll. None only, but the stag rifle right here. All right. So I'm, we have all these laying right here and some craps going down. I'm going to be grabbing my stag rifle. And the biggest reason behind that is because I've trained with it. I've trained with it multiple times, multiple classes, a lot more than any of these guns. And so this is what I'm gonna grab because obviously training with it, I'm familiar with it, I'm comfortable with it. I know the platform very well. Um, it has a light on here, so I got the light. I got my EOTech right here. Um, so for me, it just really comes down to comfort and uh, confidence because if I've trained with it, I'm gonna be comfortable and confident. So yeah, I am choosing my stag rifle. I don't know if that'll change in the future after I train with some of these other guns, but for now, I'm grabbing my handy dandy stag. So, all right. So yeah, thank you for watching this video, guys. And leave a comment down below. What is your go-to zombie apocalypse slash boogaloo rifle? I want to know, what is your rifle and what do you have on it? You know, as far as different features and lights and slings. And I just want to know, you know, leave the whole list down below and comment down below. Let me know and stay tuned for the next Gun Day Monday.